friends, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from Our Half Acre Homestead, and today I'm going to recover a lampshade. Now this old lamp table, nobody in this house likes, but I love it because it sits right next to my chair. It doesn't take up a lot of space. It directs the light to my chair where I want to be when I'm sewing, and it doesn't really disrupt the TV or if anybody's watching. How it works is this shade sits on there and you put a light bulb in and you screw this in place and it's this is the lampshade but look at this poor old lampshade I mean seriously guys it's really falling apart we're gonna fix it we're gonna make it try and make a new one most lampshades nowadays have either this or this and neither one will work with this lamp they also have ribs in them that this lampshade doesn't this is just heavy paper so what we're going to need is three old file folders some spray glue some hot glue some paper clips and the fabric of your choice and of course some scissors let's get started okay you're also going to need some tape now I don't have any masking tape which would be preferable so we're going to use pa packing tape we're just going to work with what I've got around the house and I've covered the end of my table with some paper so that we don't start gluing ourselves to the tabletop what I want to do is First and foremost, we're just going to take our file folders and we want to make sure that they are going to go all the way around the lampshade. So I have four just in case I need four. I doubt it. Now, they are going to fit lengthwise, okay? The easiest way to do that is to stand up your lampshade and stand your piece of cardboard or whatever it is next to it and make sure you have room. And that is that. So now we're going to take our file folders and we're going to line them up. So we're just going to tape these together so that we have a nice long sheet of this heavy card paper. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I have a piece of fabric that is going to be long enough and that looks like it is. We want to make sure it's going to go past the cardboard stock on both sides, okay? So now we're just going to take a snip and then we're going to take our spray adhesive, make sure it's working, yep. And in a well ventilated room, we're just going to spray all this card stock. All right, let's quickly Flip over our cardstock, and there we go. And we're just going to take our scissors here. I do not want to rip this shade too much. I want to keep the original paper intact as much as possible so that we can use it as a template. See what I mean by it being a piece of paper with just a wire ring on the bottom and a wire ring on the top and this is why it was such a pain for me to try and figure out how to recover it because we're going to take the old shade oh ooh, ooh. we may have to make this shade just a little bit shorter I'm going to it's a good thing I have extra fabric because I'm gonna have to add an extra piece of cardboard at the bottom here because we want to lay this right out and it's I didn't realize it was curved so that will work we'll jerry rig it okay I'm just gonna put some of my spray glue here right down to here like that now we can lay out our old lampshade the old cardstock and ugly dirty smelly fabric and now I'm just going to cut this out 
around the original shade. Okay, now we can take the original shade off. Now folks, I've never done this before, so if I have to figure things out as I go, I do apologize. Okay, now, here is obviously the top is going to be, I'm going to put the original back together like this. Put a paper clip on the top and a paper clip on the bottom. And it's faded so we can see where it originally lined up. And we just now want to wrap this around the original so that we can have the correct shape. And I'm just going to paper clip my seam together at the top and at the bottom. Just like that. Now we can take the old one out again. So first, we're going to take our bottom and we are just going to slide it inside just like that. See, it can only go down so far because of the shape of the paper. I'm going to take a couple of pieces of packing tape for the moment and just tape the wire to the paper. Now we're going to do the same with the top. And we want just enough of the shade above here so that we'll be able to fold it over. Now, before we go any further, I want to tape or glue this seam down. So let's get our hot glue gun out here. And we're going to close our seam back up and just roll it on to itself. You can't see what I'm doing, but here, roll it in on itself and press it down. Now, we're going to take our scissors and we're just going to snip around the edge down to the wire frame. Let's start with a bit of hot glue on the underside of the cardboard and we're going to fold that slip down onto the inside of the cardboard. And if you want, put a paper clip there until it cools. Alrighty. Okay, so again, I'm going to make a snip right here. And again, we're going to run our glue right along the wire even, because that will actually mold this right to it. God bless the inventor of the hot glue gun, I tell ya. And there it is, folks. My new lampshade. All right, we'll be back as soon as all the glue dries and I set it up on the lamp and we'll have a look. And there it is. Isn't that lovely? Now, I caution you folks. Uh, if you try and get your paper all in one piece um, or without a lot of extra because you will have some seams show through unless you use a really dark fabric. This is the Miss Evolvi from our Half Acre Homestead saying reduce reuse, recycle, or recover. Take care. Bye-bye.